Hey guys, how are you doing today? Ignore my totally messy hair and lack of makeup. It's, it was not a morning to get up and get doing things. All right, I went to the mill and in it I had this month's Yum Box. Uh, unfortunately, they thought it'd be fun to put stickers right on top of this. So it's, um, I want to try to see what it says, but... I'm sure they didn't do this. The Unbox probably didn't do it. I'm sure it was the post office. A land where hips don't lie, but sloths sure do. Really? Is that the hips don't lie? Is that where Shakira is from? I don't know. We will find out momentarily. Just cut this open here. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Where? It's from Colombia. That's where she's from. Let's see. Here's our little card that has our scoreboard we can do on the back and the rejects that didn't come with it. Um, let's see. Colombia, if you don't know, here's Central America, like the bottom, oops, sorry, the bottom of Texas goes into Mexico and then Mexico comes down here to South America, to Central America. Here, here's Panama. And he, so it's in South America right over here in the top corner. Um, Ciudad Perdida hike 1200 steps to this ancient lost city founded 650 years before Pero's Machu Picchu. Bucaramanga where the marvelous mayonnaise chips in your box. Mayonnaise chips? I don't know about that. Bogota, the capital uh, is home to the to the world's largest gold museum with over 34,000 34, golden artifacts. That's kind of fun. Santa Dar de Quilachao, maybe? Birth post, birthplace of two Colombian soccer stars and equally beloved lollipops that you're about to try. Medellin or Medellin. It's two L's. That's usually it. Yeah. Spot giant iguanas, frogs, and butterflies, all made of orchids at the city's annual flower fest. That's kind of fun. And then, of course, there's the Amazon jungle, rainforest largest in the world. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you've got the other booklet that has more fun stuff in here. I'm not trying to rush, but I, I kind of waited a minute to go get the thing, and I'm worried about running out of lunch break. Um gives a, they have a really weird looking river. Check that out. It's all colored, all red and yellows. And there's penguins. And they have something called arapas, a doughy Colombian staple. Um, water, cornmeal, cheese, butter, and salt mixed together, kneaded until soft dough. Um, you put it between two pieces of plastic wrap, flatten it with a rolling pin until about half inch thick. You cut it into circles. Um, put it on a pan or medium high heat. Cook until golden, about five minutes per side. And then, what do you? You mash avocados, quarter some cherry tomatoes, dice half of a red onion, onion and finally chop two teaspoons of cilantro and it looks like you just you divide the avocado tomato and onion among the the six it says it makes six arapas um top it with the remaining quarter cup of cheese that you didn't use earlier sprinkle with the cilantro and enjoy and here's the picture here of those arapas those actually sound pretty good i might have to get some cornmeal and make those maybe i have cornmeal I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll have to check that out. Um, it says what you might know about Colombia. Early European explorers were obsessed with finding the mythic city of gold known as El Dorado, but El Dorado was never actually a place. It was a person, specifically the leader of the native Musca people, whose inauguration was made official with a shower of pure gold dust. That's pretty cool. What you might not know, in 1961, the Colombian town of San Basilio de Planique, 
I don't know, <laughs> won independence from Spain and became the first free African settlement in the Americas. Flash forward three centuries and the women of this area are national icons, best known for donning vibrant Afro-Caribbean dresses and selling fresh fruit bowl, fresh fruit from bowls expertly balanced on their head. That's kind of cool. And there's a, a playlist of music as usual. Um, Colombia has its own Spanish slang. For example, llave literally means key, but in Colombia, it can also mean a close friend. That's kind of cool. And there's a bunch of that. That's like just info about the foods. Ooh, they have a limonada de coco, basically coconut lemonade uh, recipe in here. That sounds pretty good. It's crushed ice, cream of coconut, juice of three limes, sugar, and white rum. I might have to try that sometime. I'll have to get some cream of coconut, but yeah, that sounds pretty good. Kind of like a pina colada, but with limes instead of pineapple. Believe it or not, many Colombians have a tinto, a small cup of black coffee before bed. Tradition might sound dili to Colombians, but outsiders can easily sound like insomnia. That's funny. It's true, though. A lot of people think that caffeine will always make you stay up. Um, interesting fun fact. Some people, it actually calms them down, like me. All right, so here's those mayo potato chips they were talking about. Let's see how these taste. Oh, I'm pretty sure the next chips are going to be better for me than these, but I'm just curious about mayo chips. They just taste like a regular potato chip to me. They almost taste like a baked potato versus a normal potato chip. Hmm, that's interesting. The next chip are Tocnetas Limon, lemon bacon chips. I love bacon. Bacon's one of my favorite foods. Primary reason that I would never be a vegetarian is pork, especially bacon. All right. Now they kind of look like um, pork rinds, like the texture wise. I don't know what that noise was just now. Definitely got the lemon flavor. Oh, it's funny. Now that I think about it, it has limes pictured, but it says lemon. But limon is lime. I think somebody uh, mistranslated these. Not bad. I taste the lime because it is definitely a lime flavor. It's not a lemon flavor. I taste that more than I taste the, uh, the bacon, but they're pretty good. All right. The next thing we have are... Bianchi nuggets, cookies, and cream. Oh, I might need to get that last flavor out of my mouth. It's a good thing I had some lightly sweetened iced tea chilling over here. All right. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> Maybe I should use scissors on this one. They're just little clusters. Pretty good. Might he have to eat more of those later. All right, and then we have Tululu Pinguinos. Oh, they're gummies. They're penguin gummies. Maybe I'll actually use a little TT thingy over here that you're supposed to open it with. I'm still just tasting cookies and cream. They're actually really cute. Look at those little guys. Gummy. I don't really get any distinct taste off of it, like flavor wise. Mm. Maybe kind of a blue raspberry. Pretty good. Alright, the next thing is a Yanchi Bar 
choco nougat. It's kind of small. So this one might be a little harder to share with Kevin when he gets home. I'll find a way. <laughs> it's like a, it's a fun size little bar, basically. The nougat is, um, more dense than what we over here would normally think of in a nougat-y. Like it's kind of like a um, Three Musketeers, but with a denser nougat. It's good. It's chocolate. Chocolate's not bad. And then we have Bridge Max Cocoa. Wafer cookies. Gonna have to assume coconut. I mean, I guess it could just be chocolate. But I think it's gonna be chocolate coconut because um, the here kind of looks like palm trees. This doesn't really say as a. Oh, just that there's two cookies. That's a long way for cookie. Mm-hmm. Chocolate with a hint of coconut. I think it, it kind of, yeah, let me get that coconut, coconutty flavor. All right. And the last thing we have is one of the little yum bags. They do these little bags sometimes when there's littler items to put in the bag. Let's see. Oh, there's only one sucker. I guess Kevin's not going to get that one. <laughs> it has these little cafe gourmet. Oh, are these coffee flavored? Hold on. I don't like coffee. Kevin might get this completely. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's coffee in a super soft chew. Cafe con leche toffee. You know, I'm going to just give those to Kevin. I'm not a coffee person. And then there's a um, passion fruit lollipop. Tastes like passion fruit. Tastes pretty good. I haven't eaten lunch yet, though, so I'm just going to put this back in here to eat later. Um, but there we go. There is our box. Can't wait to see what we get next month. You guys have a great day.